Here at the Railroad Commission, we have been hard at work updating our web properties. Part of these ongoing updates are enhancements to the agency's website at rrc.texas.gov. We would like to point out changes and additions that will make resources and information easy to find. At first glance, you will notice the homepage is laid out a little differently. It's arranged in groups and rows, but don't worry, the homepage still contains the same links. The menu located at the top of the site is one of the biggest enhancements. It is now organized by agency actions in task-oriented categories like resources, forms, events, and complaints. This menu also organizes the links as columns for better readability. Are you searching by divisions and departments like oil and gas, alternative fuels, or others? Division and department links are now located just below the news carousel and are illustrated with icons for easy identification. These icons move to a side menu as you scroll and provides easy access to the division and department landing pages. In the top menu, frequently accessed agency information can be found under resources, forms, and events. In the Resource Center, you will find tiles presented with links to resources from across the agency, like research queries, agency publications, and enforcement actions. The Forms page lists forms by department or division, as well as information for filing forms with the Railroad Commission. Select the desired tile for the form page. On each forms page, a search option is available at the right-hand side of the screen to help find a form by name or number. The Events Center lists all upcoming events in the agency and can be sorted by city or category. The Complaints page provides complaint forms for general complaints and website issues, as well as complaint procedures for our major divisions and departments. Our menu also has a separate accidents page to report accidents, leaks or spills and a link to report pipeline damage. These pages will guide you to the proper procedure for reporting problems. Next, we will take a look at the landing pages for divisions and departments. Each landing page maintains a consistent layout with familiar links organized in groups to navigate easily. For example, on the oil and gas page, Common links are at the top right. Below that, there are three at a glance panels, including the latest announcement. The main categories are grouped in a row of buttons under the panels and additional general information below the buttons. Let's look at alternative fuels. Here, the layout is the same, but the links and information are dedicated towards the department. We see common links at the top right, three at a glance panels below, and the main categories in a row of buttons. Back on the oil and gas landing page, let's see what information the main categories have to offer. The content within these categories is the same as the previous site and still includes the directory navigation paths or breadcrumbs. These landing page layouts are the biggest change as they help eliminate the long lists of links to sort through. Notice the search box is always available at the top of every page to assist finding content. Another major enhancement is the new applications page. A link to this is located in the red banner at the top right hand side of the screen. This page contains links to the Railroad Commission's current online applications. Launch an application by clicking on the logo or learn more using the link at the bottom of each tile, which will direct you to that application's information page. All of these enhancements will provide more easy access to information for operators and the public. Please take a moment and browse through the new site and update any bookmarks as some links have changed. Thank you for watching.